better watch out if you're enemies a road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen i feed him every day like the bones clean i feed him all the hate and he grows me and he gets caught real big pissed off quick and if you cross him you might drop dead and this world ain't right won't accept it negative energy i expect it once it's in your mind it's infectious so fight for your life and reject it you better give me space i'm protective my adrenaline spikes when i'm threatened and if you stay in my way i'm aggressive cause when there's no legs it'll kill when i'm desperate Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We finally got the 44 in the Jeep. As you can tell from the little intro there, we went with a Fusion Elite 44, which is a company up in Michigan that's basically an East Coast gear supply axle, but they take it and do their own thing with it and do awesome work. So that's what we went with. You look them up online, they sell Kingpin 60s all the way down to 44s uh, for JKs, TJs, JLs, whatever. They make a lot of axles, can do whatever you guys want, custom work. So we went with their Elite Rear 44 for a TJ, got it outfitted with 488 gears, Eaton E locker, Kermali shafts, uh, disc brakes, the whole shebang. So really nice axle. We are super pumped to have this in the Jeep finally, do some wheeling on it. So as you can tell from how long it took me to post this second video to our axle swap series, we ran into some issues and I'm about to tell you what we hit. Number one, we got the control arms in, got the axle bolted in fairly loosely, went to hook up the track bar, realized the stock track bar wasn't going to cut it. The Fusion came with a uh, set angle for the track bar bracket. You know on a, on a factory axle for a TJ you've got to do a uh, track bar relocation bracket when you do a lift. So. We ditched the bracket and Fusion welds on theirs with the correct angle on it. So you have no adjustability there. And we had stock track bar, which has no adjustability either. So we were actually getting in a little bit of a bind. I may throw a picture up right here of what the problem was. So to handle that issue, we actually went and ordered a adjustable rear track bar from JKS. And that actually got our problem solved because of the adjustable swivel end on the axle side of the track bar. We were able to get just enough angle to make that perfect. Uh, I think I've got a picture of it. So that was issue number one. Only other issue was I thought the Adams drive shaft that we had for the rear was gonna work, but apparently not because it was too long. We got it bolted up and you had just probably a half inch of spline showing at ride height, which is not going to cut it. Uh, we could have drove it like that, but as soon as we got out on the trail, started flexing the thing out, there's a chance that your drive shaft will compress enough to actually jam up into the transfer case and damage your case and if not transmission. So, so we actually uh, got on the phone, got a Tom Woods drive shaft that's about an inch and a half shorter than the one we had. So we have plenty of spline as you see in the video. So those were really our two uh, hang ups on this thing. Other than that, the Fusion went in great. So there's our uh, Tom Woods drive shaft. You can see we've got plenty of spline. Looks about like the Adams did with the Dana 35. The reason we had to get a shorter drive shaft is because the yoke on the pinion on these Dana 44s, especially this Fusion, is close to two inches longer than the uh, Dana 35. So it really shortens the drive shaft length. And like I said, if you get to flexing out, get the axle in full droop, it could cram that drive shaft up into the back of the case and just cause all sorts of issues. So Tom Woods got us hooked up. Shout out to them for the really quick shipping. This one has a uh, greasable U-joints with Zerks. So I've never had that. We'll see how that works. See if it ends up being a pain in the butt to keep it clean or what. But So we got so wound up in installation that, gotta be honest with you guys, I stopped filming 
uh, about halfway through. Really, as soon as we hit the drive shaft snag and I knew we were gonna be several days out, um, I kind of stopped filming and forgot to pick it back up. So I apologize for that. Uh, this video is gonna be the part two, kind of the reveal of the axle. And uh, I'm gonna insert a clip here at the very end of me actually unboxing it, seeing it for the first time, and really a good up close look at the quality of the Fusion. Out here on a dirt road, this was more to show it on the Jeep. So, all right guys, that's gonna be about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry again about not filming the installation on this, but basically reverse of everything we did pulling the Dana 35 out. And I told you about the issues we had. How we fixed it, so we're all good to go. Just gotta break the gears in now, put some miles on the thing, then we will be ready to wheel. All right guys, I'm gonna throw up that footage of me unboxing the crate, seeing the axle for the first time. It's gonna be the end of me talking for this video right here, so thank you guys so much for all the support watching the videos. Hope to see you again next time. This has been Everyday Off-Road. All right guys, part two of the axle video is finally here, we're about to walk in the garage where you can already see it behind me. We are super, super excited about this axle. Like I said, it's a fully loaded Dana 44. About to bust this crate open here in a second, let you guys see every minute of it. As soon as we see what it is, you guys will see what it is, and I think you'll really like it. Came just like this. The FedEx guy and myself struggled to get it up the driveway super heavy solid packaging as I would expect can't wait to get this thing open show you guys what we got Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you fully loaded Fusion 44. 488 gears, Eaton E locker, chromoly shafts, disc brakes, ultra heavy duty bracketry. Just a beautiful, beautiful axle. Plumbed for disc brakes already. Got the hard brake lines on here. Comes with a nice solid yoke. There you are, Fusion 44, 488 E lock. What a gorgeous, gorgeous axle. It's going to look great under the back of our TJ.